Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a product review. I've been so anxious to do this makeup review for you guys but I wanted to take some time to use the product over and over again before I gave my opinion because I wanted to be honest if you were to try it. And that product is the Revlon's Photo Ready Liquid Foundation as well as the Revlon's Photo Ready press powder and so if you're interested in seeing how I feel about these two products stay tuned okay guys so as you know the Revlon makeup is not a high-end makeup you can actually find it in your drugstore your local drugstore and I found this in Lowe's which is a local um, pharmacy and drugstore necessity supply store here in Nassau Bahamas um, the reason why I decided to try the Revlon photo ready makeup is because I don't know if you've ever experienced this but sometimes you would apply your makeup and it's looking all nice and then by the time as you've already finished getting ready you went out um, you probably worked up your body and you're feeling kind of warm and then you decide to take pictures your makeup looks different it it looks um, either it's too pale you probably sweat it out it's looking too oily or something like that and so I would get that effect when I would use my um, MAC makeup as well as my black opal makeup and so just browsing through Lowe's one day I was like I would really like to try this photo ready makeup and see you know what it's all about you know is it good for pictures like they say and um so I got it and I tried it out that very night because I was going out to an event and I was going out for drinks and I um, thought I was going to be taking pictures and so I wanted to see how the makeup applied and what is the effect. I'm currently wearing the makeup. I'm currently wearing um, the Revlon Photo Ready liquid foundation as well as the pressed powder and in the liquid foundation I wear cappuccino and in the pressed powder I got medium and deep and I just picked these up I was right in the store I tried to test on my hand a few times and then I just decided to um, get it the liquid foundation is eighteen dollars and ten cents at Lowe's and I do not know I cannot remember how much the powder foundation cost because the price rubbed off so sorry about that so when I first applied the makeup to my face the liquid foundation I was amazed at the way it blend so nice with my skin it was almost like perfect and I was amazed because like I said it's not a high-end makeup it is really a drugstore makeup and it just applied flawlessly now when you um, put on the pressed powder I'm not quite sure if this goes up because like I said I got medium to deep um, that was all they had there may be another deep dark or something like that but when I apply this it usually comes on a bit whitey as you will see because I'm going to show you um, a clip of me applying this makeup it goes on a bit whitey but then after a while it it blends um, and it looks very nice Two things I like about the Photo Ready, the Revlon Photo Ready makeup is that it gives you highlight where you would normally need highlight. Like if you put it on, you would see on the bridge of my nose it's highlighted um, and then on my cheeks and then right in my forehead and it shows up on your pictures. It almost makes it look as if you were perfected. If your pictures were touched, if you're in your pictures, which definitely you're not, you're just wearing the makeup. So I really love the, the Revlon Photo Ready makeup. And if you're interested, definitely go ahead, try it out. Um, they do have testers. If you're local um, here in the Bahamas at Lowe's, they do have testers and you can probably try it out on your skin and see how it blends with your complexion. Um, and get it, try it, test it, you know, put it on, go out for a night of fun and if you take pictures you will see how well the makeup really does show up in your pictures. Like I was, I was amazed by it and so definitely I do not wear these every day 
but I do wear it when I know I'm going to be out and I'm going to be taking pictures. Another thing that I like about this to make up is that you really have to do any touch-ups. Like you don't have to keep blotting for oil or or you know applying, reapplying it again. No, it's very good, a very last thing too. Because when I wore it, I was out for a few hours and at the end of the night it still looked like I was I just put on my makeup so definitely go ahead and try these out I give the Revlon photo ready makeup a thumbs up I love these two products and they're my go to makeup whenever I know I'm going out and I'm going to be taking pictures so now I'm going to show you a clip of me putting on the Revlon photo ready makeup and you will see how well it blends with my complexion and then when I first put on the press powder how it gets a little whitey but this is the end result of the makeup I guess that I'm currently wearing it and I'm just wearing a little bit of highlight shimmer on my cheeks all right guys so stay tuned for that clip thanks for watching the video and I'll see you again in the next video real soon bye I begin with my Revlon photo ready foundation and my BH cosmetics stippling brush my face is already primed and my eyebrows are already filled in Next, I pump a small amount of foundation onto the back of my hand and then take my stippling brush and dip it into it. Then I stipple the foundation all over my face beginning with my chin. Now I'm going to set the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation with the Revlon Photo Ready Powder. It usually comes with this little brush, but I prefer to use my BH Cosmetics Powder Brush. After tapping any excess away, I begin to apply the Revlon Photo Ready Powder to my face in wide circular motions. So there you have it guys, my full application of the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation and Press Powder. So tell me what you think.